CEOs are the brain of a company. They have to make the most difficult decisions and sometimes take risks to ensure that their company doesn't fall to ruin. They have to be timely, on point, and express his or her opinions directly and upfront with the board of directors, employees, and or subordinates. This is why leading a company is no easy task, and these people do it day to day. But sometimes even the most successful company executives have made some bad decisions or make some questionable changes to their respective companies, which leads to high turnovers, low tenure, poor work-life balance, and hilarious glass door reviews. Coming up on this list, we have Ross Stores Inc. Now, Ross, aside from being your typical clone of discounted merchandise, is terrible. The company was also ranked 458th on Payscale's list of most and least employee tender in a tie between Group 1 Automotive Inc. and Chesapeake Energy Corporation. Heh, <laughs> more like Cheapskake Energy Corporation. The owner of Ross, Barbara Randler, took over on June 1, 2014. Since then, the owners and its investors have profited from excellent sales figures, but on the other side of the coin, its employees have not. How so? If a company is gaining money, don't you think its employees would gain money as well? Well, there's quite an explanation for that. If I work them real hard, work them real hard, I get that money. Get that money. And they decide to quit. They decide to quit. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Get that money. Some stores close at 10:30 p.m., some at 11:30 p.m., and I've seen one that closes at 12:30 a.m. Who is shopping for clothes at 12:30 in the morning? What a stupid idea! Who wants a striped sweater at three in the morning? Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> now, I know everyone's thinking about McDonald's and Walmart. And let's face it, who doesn't like to coolishly hate on some of the Illuminati's biggest farm making machines? I mean, companies. But those are just too obvious. So to spice things up, we've decided to include a not very well known company. One that goes by the name of Andretti Indoor Carding and Gaming. It's a company with only two locations as of this video and sure has some nice other names, notably Andretti Theme Parks. Andretti sure has won the hearts of its monthly consumers, but not those of its employees. Previous employees for Andretti have cited several cons in some hilarious ways. I mean, check for example this one. A review written by an anonymous former employee. She gave her two weeks notice in advance that she would be leaving to go to college. And when she came back, the bosses were like, who are you? You know, they had forgotten who she was. And there's others as well, you know, saying things like the GM hires too many of her children's 21 year old friends to be managers, incest. Too many chiefs, not enough Indians. The entire staff is made up of family members or someone who is friends with an employee. Management is a bunch of ex-drug addicts who have no idea how to manage a department. Extremely low pay. The departments are very clicky. Basically just stuff you don't want to hear about your company. Former Abercrombie and Fitch CEO Michael Jeffries will always be remembered for these lines. In every school, there are the cool and popular kids, and then there are the not-so-cool kids. We go after the cool kids. A lot of people don't belong, and they can't belong. Are we exclusionary? Absolutely. But who can also forget these quotes? That's why we hire good-looking people in our stores, because good-looking people attract other good-looking people. And we want to market to cool, good-looking people. Abercrombie is only interested in people with washboard stomachs who look like they're about to jump on a surfboard. Listen, do we go too far sometimes? 
Absolutely. But we push the envelope and we try to be funny and we try to stay authentic and relevant to our target customer. I don't want our core customers to see people who aren't as hot as them wearing our clothing. I really don't care what anyone other than our target customer thinks. Dude, I'm not an old fart who wears his jeans up at his shoulders. They're all